In this video we are going to be checking over this Minolta XG9 35mm film SLR camera equipped with the MD Rocker X 45mm f2 lens. And what I thought I'd do in order to demonstrate this camera is open up the battery compartment and install a battery temporarily. Now, this battery holder will hold two uh, button cells or I have this single one here for testing purposes. It's not included in the sale but just for testing here. So we get that threaded back and tightened down with the coin in the slot. And what I thought I'd do here is step down through the shutter speeds. We're going to turn it on here. And here's one one thousandth of a second. 1 500th, 1 250th, 1 1 25th, 1 60th, 1 30th, 1 15th, 1 8th, 1 4th, 1 half, and we can notice that we're seeing the lens stopping down, and 1 full second. And then the bulb setting, well, where it stays stopped down and open as long as I hold the button down and then completes the cycle. Then I thought we would check out the self timer setting, so I'm going to set this knob to self timer and then we'll start it. We can see the red light flashing over here and we'll watch it complete its cycle. Okay, and then I thought we would also check out the, uh, I've got it set at F16, we'll check out the stop down preview button. You can see it stopping down the lens there. So that's working properly. Let's take the lens off and look at that. Very nice smooth focus on this lens. Nice clicks on the aperture ring. If we leave it at F16 and work the lever on the back. We can see quick snappy blades and it mounts properly back on. Looking at the top, this uh, switch has nice clicks. Sometimes those get broken and they just flop around. The uh, shutter speed dial works. You lift that to set the ASA or ISO value. And it's got exposure compensation as well. And the uh, film advance lever works well. If we look at the back, this camera has this thick leatherette coating and the adhesive is not holding on real well. So you can see that it peels up you can push it back down and it'll stay for a while, but it will peel back up again. That was a problem with this particular type of leatherette that Minolta used at this time. If we pull up on the rewind crank, we can pop the back open. We can watch the curtains and the film transport. It all looks good. Move over here to the battery or the back door. Just a little bit of residue there, a little bit of stickiness along the bottom edge. Uh, I would say the light seals are breaking down a bit. They are not at the point where they absolutely have to be replaced, but at some point they will be. And for a camera of this age, about 40 years, uh, that's not surprising. Back closes properly. Nice metal rewind crank. The bottom looks good. Um, not a lot of scuffing around the tripod socket which is really common. This one does not have that, just some general scuffing uh, from use but not abuse. It has this unbranded lens cap that snaps onto the front. Generally a pretty nice example of the Minolta XG9.